Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again with a little reading today. I find it interesting that I do a video, you comment, which I'm very thankful for. And uh, I saw one there this morning. I, I get notices uh, if I'm on my computer telling me that more people have added comments. And I had a little circle and a dot there and I clicked on it and someone was saying something and I was reading it and I thought, well, this is great. And then in the back of my mind, it triggered a video. You see, um, data inputs here. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a big circle. Data inputs here. I do a video. You comment that triggers more data going in in a new video. Uh-oh. We're codependent. <laughs> what a horrible thing. Anyway, still fighting on whether to do um, a live show. Um, my wife thinks it might be something I need to do, so I always trust her thinking. Also, um, thank you for those who have purchased my handmade rings. I'm now in the shop making more, having a lot of fun, staying out of trouble. And thanks for those who call for readings. I hope you were happy with them. Um, the input of, you see, I was, I went someplace else. I often don't know that I do it. People say I, I do it all the time, but I'm not aware that I do it. You can tell there's a shift in the eyes and a big blank look, which is my normal look. But uh, this comment that this woman made had the friend that was a healthcare worker, nurse, and not able to see her family as much. You know who you are. And uh, someone said, life's a play. I thought, ooh, that's good. It's not new, but it's good. And then they said, that can have many outcomes. It's a play that's being written as we're talking. And um, I make predictions and they come true. I make predictions that don't come true as well. No one ever admits that, but everybody does that. Why? Because life's not complete. Ooh, it's directly from the other side. Life's not complete. Life is in constant motion. Therefore, the outcome of things is suspect. Well, that's a long phrase to get from someone who's passed. Um, you predict something's going to happen and it does and you say, oh good, Gary predicted something that happened. He predicted all these things. But then I sort of look at the ones that I didn't get right and um, economic events, uh, people events. You know, a guy, <clears throat> a guy standing in line to get a ticket for something at the last minute, changes his mind and buy a ticket for something else. Everything that was going to happen if he purchased this ticket is now moot. It's not going to happen. And just at the last minute, and maybe a knowing from the other side. I could, I could tell stories, but I've seen people do that and watch the outcome manifest differently and ask that person, I saw you hesitate. Why did you do that thing? He says, I don't know. I just got a feeling. And then the outcome was completely different for him and probably, probably his family. Now they're playing, you've got a ticket, whatever, ticket to ride by the Beatles. Um, You buy a ticket on the ride of life where it takes you, depends upon which ticket you buy. Going to Montreal is different than Colorado. You buy a different ticket. And often in midstream, people will change horses. They're in the, there's a lot of metaphors in this one, I'm sorry. 
but you're riding along, everything's going good, and you say, gee, there's something about this horse I don't like, or my career I don't like, or who I'm married to or engaged with, or, or my significant other, whatever, if this isn't working out, I'm going to change directions. And then everything in your life changes. The trick here is spotting it when it happens. And um, something happened recently. I was giving a reading to someone and they said no to practically everything. They say, you say no a lot. Instead of looking or listening to what it is I'm saying and finding a place for it, they just dismiss it because it really isn't something they want to do anyway. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Well, that's what the other side is saying you should do. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The difficulty is making that choice. And uh, I did a video earlier about blind faith, and this is sort of like that kind of thing. If you don't, if you don't believe the message someone gives you and you change it to something you're going to do anyway, then why consult anybody? You're an idiot. You consult someone and they tell you, oh, you need to do this because the other side said, no, I don't think so. I don't believe that. That's not what's going on. I want to I wanna be a movie star. Yeah. But often inspiration comes to people as they're standing in line to buy a ticket. They want to go somewhere. They want to do something. And all of a sudden, at the last minute, they say, gee, I think I want to go to Florida and do and uh, fish in the ocean. And they just get this inspiration. Of some, oh, have you ever done it before? No, no. Do you have any equipment? Do you have a fishing rod? Do you have it? No, no, I don't have any of that stuff. So you're going to go to Florida and rent a boat and, and go out and fish for, or... No, no, I'm going to stand in the surf, man. I'm going to stand in the surf and I'm going to fish. Why? Never done it before. And have you ever had any? No, never had any inclination to do that. It's never occurred to me. Guy goes down and he spends a week fishing in the sun. He comes back with a great tan and a wife. Or a girlfriend or a husband. Or maybe just something inspirational happens on that beach that leads him to discover a widget that changes cloud formations and therefore rain. I've been many places that I didn't know I was going to. I went there because I was inspired to go there. I heard you need to go there, so I did. You're relocating. You need to move here. No, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I couldn't live in a red state. I just couldn't live in a red state. Well, how are you doing where you're at? Well, I'm unemployed. My money's running out and I have no, I have no food in the refrigerator and all my relatives hate me. Yeah. The other side's saying to move to this state. Oh, I can never move to a red state. I just hate a red state. I couldn't do that. Okay, continue screwing your life up. Stay where you're at. Nothing changes if you stay there. You bought the ticket for this, now you're unhappy with it. Spirit says move here and do this, and you're not gonna take that advice. I can't help you. Continue screwing up. Off you go. People get strange. Um, the future's not fixed. But if you're sitting around doing nothing and someone says, knit tea cozies, you go, damn, that's a good idea. I hate knitting. I hate knitting and I hate tea cozies. I don't even know what the things are for. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Can't tell something I don't want to do. Somebody else hears the same thing, knit it, knitting tea cozies. They begin knitting them, find out it's a lot more fun than they thought. And uh, they throw up a website and start selling them online. And they sell like crazy. 
they can't keep up with orders. Pretty soon they have a little garage thing going on with they've hired employees, ordered materials in, and they're selling a thousand of them a month. Problem solved. Simply because they listened to what someone said. If I tell you something in a reading, and I it's like these videos. I'm saying I just heard this. Well, it's like a play that can have multiple endings. And why predictions don't always come true. If you hear something, buy the ticket, take the ride. Even if you don't want to do it, maybe they're trying to tell you something. I heard move here where I'm at. Two weeks time, I sold a bunch of stuff. I threw stuff away. I packed a truck and I came down, rented an apartment, went to work. It's been the most marvelous time I've ever had. Never had a thought to move here. Never occurred to me. I lived all over the place, so I didn't have any specific, but they were real specific. I met my wife here, and any of you have seen Bunny or emailed or anything, you know what a marvelous person she is. These things are not accidents. They're guidance from the other side. Listen. I can only tell you what I hear. It's your decision to take the ride. You have to buy the ticket. Or continuing to use your advice, which has gotten you nowhere. You think that's why you would call. And I get a lot of readings. People do take that ride or they go to the doctor, they do whatever I tell them to do and things work out. And the people say, well, I, I don't wanna do that. It, it's, uh, it's too rainy there. I don't wanna go there. I wanna stay here. How's it working out for you? Well, it's just terrible. I just can't, I, I just can't function but I, I never leave here. This is where I belong. Spirit told you to move to some other state and you're ignoring their advice. Life's going to be difficult. But it's a play and there's a variety of endings that can happen for you. You make the right turn, you pick, pick buy the right ticket Life is glorious, fun, interesting, funny, entertaining, life affirming. You buy the wrong ticket, you end up in a swamp. Listen to the other side. I'm, I've talked to a lot of you. I answer these things you put on my YouTube thing. I'm trying to encourage you to do what you think is happening. Not what, your, not what your brain is telling you, not what your conscious thought is, what your subconscious thought is. That's, a, that's key to all this. It's not a conscious thought. Not focusing is the key to finding whatever it is you're looking for. Focusing, uh, not so much. Strange video, isn't it? It's a strange day today, maybe. Feels right, though. Sun shining, temperature, I don't even know what it is. 60 degrees probably, beautiful day. Listen, listen when the other side says something. They're not doing it for no reason. They have a reason. They're trying to help you get from A to B with the least amount of pain and the most amount of fun. Or, and then continue on doing what you're doing now. It's all uh, multiple endings, same play. You play this, uh, do this play today. The lines are not written. I've acted in plays. I've directed plays. Not that I was any good. But it's not the lines that are written that makes the play. It's how you speak the lines that are written that make the play. No fear, no regret, no anger, 
Thanks for calling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for buying my rings. Thanks for getting readings. Thanks for being you and responding to my YouTube uh, videos in a way that helps me help you. That's all this is about. It's not about me. It's about me helping you in any way that I can. I've never repeated my ending. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.